Rosa multiflora that you see here is a large, thorny, invasive shrub that is, it forms impenetrable thickets and it can disrupt the habitat of our native songbirds and other native wildlife. We can find it growing in on roadsides and in drainage ditches and in municipal parking lots and it's just taking over everywhere. So today I'd like to show you a way that we might make some of these uh, invasive shrubs into a, a decorative wreath for your house using these rose hips but I want you to promise me that you'll throw them away in the garbage when you're done so that the seeds which are the part of the problem don't get back out into the environment. Here we are ready to make our rose hip wreath. So these are some of the materials that you'll need and the tools. This is the wreath frame. This is a 12 inch rounded wreath frame which is the kind I like to use. You can get them at any craft store. A uh, roller spool wire and this is about 16 gauge wire. The, the higher the number the finer the wire so you want to uh, just experiment with what works for you. And this is another little spool of wire that would work too. I like to cut my some of the wire into six inch pieces so that when I'm wrapping they're pre-cut and that makes it go faster. And a pair of snips, a pair of pruning shears, or a pair of kitchen shears would also work for this project. And of course, you need a whole bunch of rose hips. So, this is what they look like when they when, when I cut them out of the field. And uh, for the next step, we're going to remove the short spurs of rose hips from the main stems. One of your kids could do this for you. Wear gloves though, this is the, the thorny part. Okay, so we'll be back in a minute. For this part, we're going to be taking some of the rose hips that we have cut off of the main stems of the rose bush, and we're gonna make little bunches of them. Fortunately, this part is not as thorny as the, the main stems are, so I don't have to use gloves, but you might still want to. Uh, so I'm just going to take three or four little little cut stems and group them together all facing the same way and then simply tie them off. You don't have to be too fussy about this because you're going to use so many that they'll overlap. So just give them a couple loops with a fine wire and set them aside. And so I have made a bunch of these same kind of bundles, try to keep them all even and then I'm going to cut the bottoms of them off so that they're the same length. So we just snip off the bottom and we should be ready to go. It takes like a, about 50 bunches to make a wreath this size approximately, but depending on how big you make the bunches. Now we're going to start wiring the bunches of rose hips onto the wreath frame. And so we're going to use a roll of spool wire and we're going to first attach the spool wire to the wreath frame by wrapping the uh, wire around a number of times until it's secure. So we'll just wrap, 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 and then give it a good tug, make sure it's not going to come loose. And then we'll start adding our boosted bunches. So I'm going to add a couple of bunches on the first run and then I'll uh, use the spool wire to come up through the middle of the wreath frame, out around the outside, and then because this is my first pass, I'm going to wrap it a couple times just to get it secure. The subsequent times we can just wrap it once. And then we'll add some more rose hips. So don't worry if it's a little thin looking in the beginning because as you add more and more rose hips, all the spaces will fill in. So one bunch on the inside, one bunch on the outside, just to make sure that you cover the whole frame as you go. And that's it. So here we are with our nearly finished wreath. 
so I'm just going to be making a few more wraps to get to the other side and add some last minute, that's the last of the rose hips. And when I do get all the way to the other side, if I want to not use a bow, I can just lift up the first part of the rose hips and tuck the last of the bundles underneath them and then and then wire them that way so that you can't see where the wreath starts or where the wreath ends. So I'll just finish this one up and then I'll show you when it's done. So there it is. There you have it. A nice, elegant and simple holiday wreath that was made from multiflora rose which may mean that another native tree or shrub might have enough space to survive another year.